Hi everybody, this is Shelly from Healing Intentions and this is our new moon forecast for September 24th, 2014. So I'm sure as a lot of you are aware that the energy has been all over the place. Um, there's been an awful lot of pressure it feels like, um, especially when it comes to headaches, uh, pressure behind the eyes, even our vision is uh, a little painful in certain circumstances. Um, that is because of the solar flares. They've been hitting really, really hard. And if you are susceptible to headaches, then you've been having some pretty intense ones. It also makes our sleep patterns a little difficult. So my advice or suggestion would be try and drink um, some coconut water or at least lots of water. Make sure that you're eating healthily and that if you need to relax or if you need a time out or you need to sit in the dark, then do that so that you allow your body to actually kind of readjust to what it's being asked to do right now, okay? Now also too, with this new moon that is here, with the work that we've been doing leading up to it and what has been presenting itself as, I'd actually say, obstacles, challenges, um, realizations. Uh, there's been a lot of us who have been having some difficulties in different areas of our lives, me included. I would say that um, for everybody to remember first, just take a really nice deep breath. None of this is really, I guess you'd want to say, a personal choice. But because we are not moving the way that we're... Okay, let me put it this way. We've been asking for things to change. And sometimes we're stubborn in the way that we like things the way they are. And yet we're asking for change. And because of that fact, if we aren't willing to move, we're being pushed. Okay? Now... I realize that isn't always something fun to deal with. I realize that it also means that we have to really look at our thought patterns and what it is that we are desiring in our lives, okay? So now I had to make a few notes here because there's an awful lot going on, so excuse me if I look away from the camera for a sec. Um, we really have to pay attention to our thoughts because our thoughts are really what is creating the energy around us. And I know I've been saying that for a while, but right now the door is opened at quite an extent to even the quickest thought can create a reality okay so please be very wary of what you're thinking and make sure that you're clear on what it is that you're asking for okay now you need to remember too that this transition that we're going through even though most of it hasn't been easy some of us um a lot of it has been difficult and what i mean by that is whether it's um somebody having a car accident and you're having to recoup from that or you lost your job or relationships have ended or anything like that okay so you need to remember that it's temporary it's not permanent okay so what i mean by that is that something is being removed so that what you're asking for or what you need next for your next stage of life can come in okay so i know leaving and releasing the past is not always easy I find that if you can do baby steps towards it, um, you'll find the transition easier. Okay, so allow yourself the baby steps. And I know that we keep talking about this, but it is important that if you want the new stuff to come in, you have to let go of the past. And sometimes I think we are scared to let go of the past because um, it means that we have to learn a lesson. And that's not always easy. Okay, been there, done that with you. You're not alone. Okay, so remember that too, that you're not alone. Um, and also, too, that you are changing. The reason why you're changing is so that your true life's path can become your reality. And with that, you need to have patience because you're going to be given two steps forward and three steps back. Sometimes you'll be given a lot and then all of a sudden you hit a wall. Okay. Um, there are huge, huge opportunities for us if we're willing to to open up to the possibilities, okay? Um, which means that this can empower us in all areas of our lives, which is something that we really, really need. And that's what we've been struggling for. And that's what all of this hard work has been about, is about empowering ourselves, okay? So it basically means that by clearing the path, by opening up, by allowing ourselves to really transition and create what it is that we want our lives to look at, we need to breathe and allow it to happen. Okay? It's hard to get out of the way. Do your best. So breathe and take a moment. 
and rebalance yourself, okay? And what I mean by that is really and truly, if you're feeling off kilter, then you need to just take a quick break, okay? And um, really and truly, the reason why you're doing that is because you're actually giving yourself a second to see what has been happening to prepare you for the next step, which is stepping into the greatness, into the greatness that you are, into the unique individual that you are becoming by allowing yourself to release what's not making you happy by hope and dreaming for what you can create and for becoming that, okay? So just remember that the greatness is you. It's the unique, true self of you. And that's what's coming into reality. So hold on to that tight, okay? Now, the other thing that I wanted to quickly say is I've been having a lot of people message me and say that they aren't receiving my posts. And it's ever since Facebook has changed their algorithms. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not hugely technical, but I know that that means that they're fixing what you have on your page. Okay. So what I have learned is that if you are not receiving my postings, track it down. You have to like and comment the post minimum or like, comment, and share. And that will ensure that you start to get the postings on your news feed again, okay? So I'm not one to push, but I would really like for everybody to receive this and to actually be able to share it with other people. So if you wouldn't mind, not to be pushy, can you please like, comment, and share on the postings from Healing Intentions. And I love you all. Breathe, relax, Allow yourself to become the unique true self that you are because you know that that will fill your heart and your soul with so much joy that everything that you thought you wanted before will pale in comparison to what's going to happen next, okay? So hold on tight. Try really hard not to get discouraged when you get slapped, okay? Especially with a change or a transition that you weren't prepared for. Um, my, even myself, I know I'm going through one right now. Nothing major, but kind of challenging me to see just how far I've come and what it is that I can create with allowing help from others. Okay. I love you lots. Take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.